Hi, I'm Jordan Bell with Texas A&M AgriLife, and we are back at the Cotton Variety Trial in Hutchinson County. Now we are 51 days past planting, and we've received about 521 growing degree days from planting through yesterday. Since planting, we've received 9.8 inches of rainfall. Most of that rain was the last three weeks of May, seven and a quarter inches. We did also receive about two inches of rain the first couple of weeks of June. Now we have been very hot and dry the past couple of weeks, but fortunately we have rain in the forecast. And when we look at the moisture that we still have in this field, we should probe all the way to four feet. So as I had said in our first visit, that gives us about eight inches of stored soil moisture in the profile. Now it is important to keep in mind that not all of that moisture is going to be plant available. We really do not want to deplete more than 50 to 60% of that moisture because once we get to the lower um, range of that moisture, we're gonna start entering plant stress. Now considering the moisture, we do know that we're going to be able to really keep this crop growing through the season. As we look at our current growth stage, right now we are about um, pinhead square. We are looking at a height to node ratio on average about 0.78. Now with a height to node ratio of 0.78, we know this crop is not very aggressive. At this stage, producers are always asking about plant growth regulators. Usually I don't like to start recommending plant growth regulators until we start getting closer to a height to node ratio of one to one. Um, in the next couple of weeks with rain in the forecast and um, the deep soil moisture, I do think we'll see this field start to take off and the producer will want to start to consider a, a plant growth regulator, even just a couple of ounces of mefloquat going into later July. Now, as I mentioned, we're at Pinhead Square and this is a stage where the crop is very sensitive to flea hopper damage. Right now, it doesn't look like we've dropped any squares, but we wanna make sure that um, we retain those early squares because we know those are gonna be the money bowls. So as I mentioned, we have a height to node ratio in this field on average about 0.78. As we start looking at our fruiting positions, we see that coming from the cotyledons and counting up one, two, three, Four, we actually do have a pinhead square developing at node four, but more than likely, as we look at what we're going to retain here at node five, we see our main leaf, we see our subtending leaf, and we see um, that pinhead square that's starting to develop.